Hello everyone, welcome back to iRender. In this video, we're going to render a SketchUp project with the V-Ray renderer. The project will be rendered on both CPU and GPU. Let's get started. We first upload data to GPU HubSync to transfer data to the remote server. All files we upload will be in the Z drive of the remote server. Now we access the iRender console. Here we create a server image with 6 RTX 3090 GPUs. Notice that we need to set up the server image for the first time only, as it will be saved and reusable. We then boot the server image, it may take 5 to 10 minutes. Once the image is booted successfully, download the remote desktop connection file. Enter the credentials to connect to the remote server. We're on the remote server. Please keep in mind that XRZ drive is just a network drive. However, it's optimal to work everything on hard drives, like C drive or desktop to prevent the project from being crashed. So, copy data to desktop before opening it. Now, we need to set up SketchUp Pro 2021. Next, copy the project from Z drive to desktop. In the first test, we already set up the SketchUp project to render with V-Ray Renderer, using CPU, AMD Ryzen Threadripper Pro 3955WX. So in out, just click to render. The rendering process is complete. We check the result here. Remember to set the output path should be in the desktop as well, to avoid getting corrupted. Move on to the GPU rendering. In this case, we're going to render the SketchUp project with V-Ray Renderer on multiple graphics cards, RTX 3090s. We check the output file, then save it at desktop. When everything is done, move the results to Z drive to sync with GPU Hunt Sync. We then shut down the remote server in the iRender console. 
The final step is just to open the GPU hubsync and download the results to the personal computer. To sum up, we rendered the SketchUp project with Theory Renderer. The first one was rendered on CPU AMD Ryzen Threadripper Pro 3955WX. The render time is approximately 1 hour. In the meanwhile, the second one was rendered on 6 RTX 3090s. The render time is only 5 minutes and 26 seconds. That is the end of the video today. If you found the video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions, please comment below. Also, here are other videos that might interest you. Thank you for watching. I render. Happy rendering, happy trading.